yep, we're going to be seeing a uh, wolf against... What? What's going on? Jewel, what are you doing? I mean, I respect it, but I've never seen this Falcon before except earlier today in doubles. Okay, so we're going to have Stocktaker's Wolf against Jewel's Captain Falcon. So... Falcon's a kind of an aggressive mix-up based character. Um, he's kind of known um, on Twitter for having some dysfunctional things about him, but he still has some stuff. Pretty solid combo game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, we know uh, Falcon is uh, pretty uh, sick because of New York's own Nick C, one of the best Falcons out there, along with Save Vitality. And yep, yeah, uh, Jules kind of holding holding zone right here. I'm kind of uh, surprised actually. I really wasn't expecting the Falcon pick here, let alone for it to work out. Oh, just barely gets back to the stage, and that was kind of a silly ledge option right there—the jump Falcon kick. And stock, stock's just kind of a uh, gonna take that first stock because that's what he does. He's stock taker 69 for a reason. Oh, that up B out of shield has so much reach. Did you see that? Uh, Falcon Dive. Um, they're called uh, Falcon Dive for the up B, Raptor Boost, and then there's Falcon Kick. <laughs> oh, the Nair Edge Guard into the taunt. Okay, okay, we see you, Jewel, we see you. But you still owe me five bucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, though. This is looking like a pretty even game. <laughs> what if he stops? That Falcon case is going to give him center stage, but he's just going to get hit and go to the other ledge, I guess. That tech chase, but no follow up. Okay. Let's see what either player is going to do, and that up arrow is going to take it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I can see that. Once again, that up B has so much horizontal range. He's just kind of scooping him up. Oh, down air, back air. But it looks like Jared's kind of adapting here. Oh, whiffs that up B. But he's only going to be eating a laser for it, so that's okay, I guess. But is... Jewel, what are you doing? Back here on shield is a taunt. Come on, man. <laughs> okay, so Jared's gonna take that 1-0. Um, I, I guess we could call that a taunt to get body because that was, I, I, that was, that was not a nice taunt right there. I, I, I don't know what I think of that, man. <laughs> Okay. Th that that was a match. I I didn't even know what to say about that really. Like I I don't know, man. I don't know. Do you think we'll see it again in game two or not? Nah? <laughs> it looks like we're gonna see uh, Jewel run away. Apparently, <laughs> taught to get body to run away. The true combo, bro. Um, so, I, I, I'm honestly not sure what's going on right now. I, bathroom break? Um, so it looks like we're going to have a uh, chair versus chair for the rest of the set. I, I have no idea. What character does Chair main? Game & Watch? But, but Game & Watch has a chair. Okay, so it looks like we're, we're, we're going back. I'm not sure what happened there. I, I, I don't know what happened in that game one. I don't know if we're going to be seeing the Falcon again or Jewel's going to go Robin, but 
That was certainly interesting. Okay, we're going to be seeing the Robin. All right. So game two, um, Robin versus Wolf. And what is that going to be on? It's going to be on Battlefield. Okay, so this is kind of a smaller stage, but I can kind of understand why Jewel will go here because I, from my experience against Robin, it can be kind of hard to approach him uh, when he stands under the platform. But let's, let's see how that works out. Oh, I could also see those up airs being really good on the stage too. Okay. Um. And Jarrah's gonna SD to start game one. Okay, let's see if Jarrah can make this back. Cause as, as we saw before um, with Jewel versus Suarez, playing from behind against Robin can be kind of scary. the pace and zone people out especially because they really like have to get in here i guess wolf might be better than average at dealing for though because that dash attack's a great burst option oh looks like uh jewel wanted to go for an arc fire there but he didn't realize that he'd run out of him or maybe that was on purpose for some reason i'm not sure why he would do go for that though mm -hmm. oh and that dash attack's gonna take it and this is gonna be ethan's jocks again um so despite the early sd uh jared's keeping the steven let's let's go so, um, you just saw here, um, Wolf's neutral B, uh, the blaster, um, it has transcendent priority, so it will ignore other moves around it. So it went through Jules' L Thunder and they had a little trade there. So that's going to come in handy here. And Jules' item play is looking pretty nice here. Um, he's going to keep that lead going by going for the Nosferatu, draining that energy. Um, this is looking kind of hard to make. But... Yeah, yeah, Jared's uh, doing a pretty good job of keeping this even. Although, one good hit to take it. From both characters, though, because wolf smash attacks are spooky, you know? And so is that. Because Robin smash attacks are strong, and they, they kind of linger a little bit, I guess. Like, you know, the little spark on the down smash. Yeah, the normal thunders are like really quick, um, low lag. They can be really good for like harassing opponents in neutral or in situations like that. You know, like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they usually kind of um, rely on L Thunder and Arc Thunder. Like that L Thunder, because um, L Thunder can kill at high percents. And um, despite that um, SD, um, Earlier in this match, um, it looks like Jared's taking the lead, believe it or not. So, uh, let's see. Is he going to be able to close this out in a 2-0, or are we are going to see game three? Mm -hmm. Yep, like I said um, in one of the earlier sets, uh, Jules' item play is kind of sweet. You know what I mean? All right. Jules kind of bringing this back with these big aerials, big damage. He's got Jared at 53%. But that four throw into a uh, technical re dash attack is going to put him off stage and it's going to get ledge trap. But, oh, that Levin sword being thrown is going to like get him out of the situation right there. Oh, up tilt's almost going to take it. But, Jules still in this. Ooh, Arc Fire and Up Smash is going to take game two. And we're going to be looking at a game three situation here between uh, Jared, aka Stocktaker69, and Jewel. Um, the best Robin in the entire universe. Yeah, re yeah I remember that Smash was just a down throw up here and how it killed like 80. It's so good. Okay, so we're going to be seeing game three on Kalos Pokemon League, and are we going to be seeing a character switch from Stock? Oh, yeah. No. Oh. We're going to be seeing um, Wolf against Robin um, on Kalos Pokemon League for game three of this loser semis. So, uh, Stocktaker started off with um, pretty decent uh, control over the stage, but Jules started to reset it a little bit. Um, these um, forwarders are going to even up the percent. These big 
big damage, 11 aerials, big damage, big rage, big hit lag. And all of a sudden, Jewel has a lead. Although I might have spoken too soon. Okay, Jewel's at ledge and stock taker. Okay, they're resetting to neutral. Arcfire is going to cover the platform. Arcfire is going to cover a ledge. And that rapid jab is going to do a bunch of damage. Um, the gentleman might have taken the stock there, so I'm not sure. But he definitely intended to do that. Thoron's going to take the first stock for Jewel. Shoop to whoop. <laughs> All right, so Jewel's doing a pretty good job of keeping this lead. Got 58% extra credit, 73%. Will Jared be able to take the stock before it's too late? Um, maybe with that back air. Just kind of clanking through the arc fire there. So let's see if Jared can make this back. He's kind of jumping around the air, trying to play mind games, trying to bait on anti-air or some kind of swing to punish it out. Down throw, dash attack, but Jewel takes out of it. Okay, Jewel goes for Nosferatu, but whiffs. Um, Jared has him on ledge. Nares to cast the jump. Maybe. And just like that, Jared's even this up. And Jared's going to take the lead with that back air, too. Catching the jump. That back air is so scary. So strong and auto cancel so early, too. So let's see what Jewel can do to uh, uh, bring this back. Um, so I noticed, um, even though um, Wolf Splasher goes through most things, um, it stopped on that arc fire right there. Oh, Nosferatu, um, bringing down his percent a little bit, so he has a better chance of making this back. Oh, no 11 forward smash, and that's going to bring him off stage. All right, let's see. What can Jewel do to bring us back? Because Jarrah's kind of sitting pretty on this lead. Especially when he clanks out Arcfire like, like that. You know what I mean? But, oh. That almost did it, but Jarrah's still clinging on. That Jarrah's just clinging on to life right here. You know what I mean? 161%. Um... Oh, 175%. It really looks like he... Jules just having a lot of trouble taking the stock, although I might have spoken too soon, but still. survived to like 190 on that stock. That's, that's kind of nutty. Okay. So, what can Jules do to bring this back? Um, let's see. He was at least able to get to center stage, but... This is looking like a tough hill. Tough hill to climb right here. That that was a great tech chase. Stocktaker is going to take it 2-1 over Jewel, and he's going to um, advance to, I believe, loser's finals.